Welcome back to my channel and our kayaking adventures. On December 14th, 2020, we decided to visit the Brevard County Zoo. This zoo has been on our to-do list for a while now because it is the only zoo in the country to offer guided kayaking tours around the animal exhibits. While paddling this man-made river, we will see giraffes, cheetahs, lemurs, and much more. We will also tour some other areas of the zoo, so click that like button, sit back, and enjoy. We arrived at the zoo at 9.30 a.m. Our first order of business was to head straight to the Expedition Africa area and secure a time slot for the kayaking tour. We wanted to get an early morning time slot since that was the recommended time the animals would most likely be active. After paying the additional fee for the kayak tour, we had a 10.30 time slot. This gave us an hour to explore part of the park and check out some of the animals. The zoo is set up into four sections, Expedition Africa, Land of Changes, Wild Florida, and La Selva Rainforest. We stayed close to the Expedition Africa and land the changes to ensure that we were close enough by and we didn't miss our boat. In a conservation effort, the zoo does not hand out paper maps, so you want to take a picture of a map to have one handy on your phone. After a short stroll through the Expedition Africa and the land of changes, it was close enough to 1030 that we headed back to the kayak tour waiting area. We had our cameras ready and we were excited for the adventure. The only drawback was the kayaks they provide are tandem kayaks. If you notice, the front of the kayaks have a chain on them, which is connected to a grappling hook. This feature, plus the wired fence along most of the area, prevents someone from paddling too close to an area that they should not be paddling too close to, keeping the animals and the kayakers safe, which is why this is not a bring your own kayak event. All right, so we're gonna go this way. And single file line is the best way to do this river. Perfect. All right, so this is our Niami Niami River. It's a man-made river that goes all the way around the Africa habitats. So this river in the zoo itself was all built by volunteers. We uh, broke ground in 92 and opened our gates in 94. And this right here on your left is that fence that I talked about. You just keep a healthy distance from that. You won't get caught up on it. If you do find yourself caught on it though, please don't try to unhook it yourself. I will do that. You do not need anyone to today. today. And this first habitat that we're passing belongs to our cheetahs. So cheetahs can actually go zero to 60 in three seconds. It doesn't take very long. They've got one of the light, largest strides of all animals, along with being the fastest land animals.
this right here is my favorite animal in the crowd. People ask me a lot what's your favorite, and this is my favorite. This is Fezzik. Fezzik is a marabou stork. I know he looks like a Disney villain. This thing is an air sac, not a pelican, so he doesn't put food in there. That's connected to his left nostril. He can fill it up with air and puff out his territory calls and call for his female. Um, he also uses it to impress the female. So he can suck it up real tight. He's got extra blood vessels in there. He can make it blush. And that's kind of like Brian chocolates or Brian flowers. These are our Simon Gibbons. So if you see them out, they're all black with a gray muzzle. And you're going to hear a lot of people around you say, look at the monkeys. You're going to have to help me educate because these are not monkeys. These are apes. These are the only apes we have here at Regard Zoo. The difference is between monkeys and apes. Easy way to tell the difference while you're walking around our zoo is gonna be tails. If that tail can grab stuff, that is a new world monkey, and that is not an ape. That brings us back to the, uh, the beach, guys. If you'll just uh, paddle up onto the sand for me, I will help pull you out. Please don't try to do it yourself. We made it this far being dry. Let's try and stick to it. The tour was about 40 minutes, and I highly recommend it. Of course, when dealing with animals, each tour is going to be a little bit different, since the animals are unpredictable on where they will be and what they will be doing. The tour guide was very knowledgeable and friendly. Once the tour was over, we sat out to explore the rest of the zoo. There was another area marked as a kayaking area, and that was the wildlife wetlands area. However, it was closed that day, which means we will have to revisit this zoo at a later date. After the kayak tour, it was good to see that the rhinos were out. We also paid the extra fee to feed the giraffe. I wanted to make sure this little guy didn't miss out. The Brevard Zoo is a 75-acre nonprofit facility located in Melbourne, Florida. It is home to over 900 animals representing 195 species from the Americas, Africa, Asia, and Australia. Visitors' favorites include giraffe, rhinos, zebras, cheetahs, monkeys, otters, and kangaroos. There are so many animals to see. They even have a little bird area that you can walk into and sometimes some of the little birds might even land on your shoulder. The Brevard Zoo is located just off exit 191 on I-95. It is less than an hour's drive east from Orlando. You can learn more about the zoo by visiting their website, brevardzoo.org. This zoo also has a zipline ride called the Treetop Trek. However, we did not try that out on this trip. I really like how this zoo is laid out. You can really get pretty close to the animals. Leave a comment letting us know what your favorite animal is. Also, if you like this video, consider subscribing. We will have plenty more adventures to share. Don't forget, also give this video a thumbs up. Kayaking the zoo was a unique experience. I also enjoyed feeding the draft. It is easy to spend several hours just watching the animals play. The Rivard Zoo first opened its doors in March of 1994 and is the only zoo in the country with a kayaking tour. Their mission is wildlife conservation through education and participation. Each year the zoo touches the lives of more than 35,000 children through its many educational initiatives. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out some of our past videos. If you like this video, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe. And until next time, hope to see you out on the water someday.